Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. What's your name? Islam. Islam? I'm Rai. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, so why are you trying to improve your English? Uh, just to improve my English. <laughs> uh, just as a kind of uh, proficient development, as I teach English. You you teach English? Hell oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good to try and improve. <laughs> well, uh, what country do you live in? Uh, I'm from Egypt, and right now I work currently I work in Kuwait. Okay, right on. Uh, I saw you in your profile that you have been working or you have worked or worked in Turkey for two years. Yeah, I'm I'm currently in Istanbul. Really? Yeah, my yeah. wife is Turkish. Mm -hmm. mm, nice. Yeah. It's I nice saw, here. I saw, uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, just seeking for adventure in another country. Mother. No, that would be nice. If I was just seeking adventure, maybe I, I wouldn't necessarily just be in Turkey. <laughs> maybe I'd be in like Thailand or something, but <laughs> Turkey's okay. Yeah. There's an, another point I saw in your profile or in your bio that you attend extensively to travel to different countries. Yeah, I, I do love traveling. I've, I've been a lot of places. I, I, I'd like to go to more places. Egypt would be a nice place to go. Wow. Yeah. Do you like Do you like living in? Well, you live in Kuwait currently. You said right. Yeah. Right. I, I had another student from Kuwait earlier today. Like, what's going on in Kuwait? Is it just a lot of work there or something? Uh, it's a nice. It's a good environment for work. You yeah. can find work. You can yeah. find a job. Nice. Uh, for or as a foreigner, you know, as. Um, None from the Arab world. It's easy to come here. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, yeah. From, from uh, uh, East Asia, maybe you can. Yeah, but from the good opportunities, the better opportunities from from USA, mm -hmm. uh, Europe, you will get a nice opportunity over here. Yeah, well, is it like a similar environment to like UAE or something like this? Yeah, no problem. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Yeah, kind of. Because yeah. you you will work here as a native, as a native of your own language, you know. Yeah, yeah. Because, yeah. Be, uh, well, if you're speaking English, I guess, or if you're, I mean, what are the primary languages other than Arabic and English? Yeah, because it's your own, uh, it's your mother language, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gotcha. So you're, you will be here teaching as a native one. Nice. So, Unlike me, you know, I'm not a native one. I'm, I'm teaching the language. Right. So, yeah. as an English as an English teacher, like, uh, what do you most struggle with to to help people with? Help people or students. What's that? Help people or students. Uh, students. Oh, let's see. When you have students at your own class and they don't have the basics, it's nonsense. Yeah. Yeah, this is difficult for me with Cambly. If somebody calls me on Cambly and they don't have even like much vocabulary, how can I help you? You know what I mean? So yeah, I guess you have to use hand to try to yeah, find yeah. The, the simplest ways to Yeah. Yo. <laughs> like when I like when I first came to Turkey, I didn't speak any Turkish at all, right? And I went to I went to like a three month Turkish course. And the entire course is in Turkish. And everyone's like, no, this is the best way to learn Turkish. Like, okay, maybe that is scientifically proven or something to like learn that way. But me and the other students in the class who spoke some English were always like, hey, like what? What does this mean? Like, what does that mean? What does that mean? Yeah, so I don't know. I mean, maybe it was on me to like study at home more, but. Eventually, you got it. You learned the language, right? Uh, so, I'm. Um, I'm I'm not conversational. I'm I have very basic Turkish, so. Mm. But I haven't been here for three years. I've spent, uh, I've spent one winter here. So I've spent seven months here, and now I've been here for like almost three months. So seven total of ten months in all the mm. time I've been coming here. So, I need to I need to study. I've just been busy. I'm always busy here. So. <laughs> We're all always busy. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
just seeking for extra income, trying to find mm -hmm. a way to get more money. Yeah, making mm -hmm. our life much better. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess from your profile that you are from uh, USA. Yeah, I grew up in New York. And uh, now you are in Turkey. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, do, do you work as a teacher there too? No, I work as a teacher only here in Istanbul. I have a degree in history, so I have some like academic background, but I don't use my history degree in the United States. I'm a commercial fisherman in the United States. So Ooh. I work in Alaska. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a very strange life that I'm living. So, really? Yeah. I read a lot of books. I try to stay up on my, my language skills. I try to improve my own language you know there's it's easy to even become uh inefficient at your own language if you don't study and read so yeah. you're totally right you know i have met tutors in Cambly, and i was shocked that uh, maybe it's so easy for uh, for uh, me as a teacher and i'm teaching students uh, uh, to know simple grammar rules and mm -hmm. i was shocked that Many of tutors on Cambly don't have the just they don't know the rules, grammar rules, simple grammar rules, and they have mm -hmm. to look it up or serve the internet to give me full information about it. You know? Yeah, I teach a lot. I'm, I work like sometimes I'm working seven days a week. Like I don't just teach on Cambly. I'm also teaching people here in the city, and most of the people I work with are there have like internet startup companies or like. Uh, online, like um, online banking security company, or they're like professionals, you know, but um, many of them are at least conversational and they all just want conversation classes. They feel like they already know the grammar rules and they just want to practice, which they are conversational, but they're definitely not like at a fluency level. They, they still make basic mistakes about like um, articles, particles of speech or like articles or they don't use their modal verbs correctly or something like this. So um, it's, it's OK as long as the meaning you, you can get it. Yeah, well, that's the beauty of English, right? I mean, if you're speaking, if you're a non-native English speaker and you're speaking to another non-native -nati English speaker, there's no rules. Like as long as you can understand each other, it's kind of okay, you know, unless, unless you're in a very high level, like um, business situation, then you should speak properly. You have to be accurate. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You should be as, yeah, as proper as possible. So, um, I mean, I can tell from just speaking with you, I think your grammar is pretty spot on. I haven't heard any grammar mistakes. The only thing for you probably is just like a little bit of pronunciation, but you're not a native speaker. So, I mean, unless you're trying to sound native or something like this, uh, you know, I guess it's just good for you that, to practice. You know? Yeah, that is what I'm trying to do, trying to catch from speaking with natives. Uh, by the way, I upload my episodes or my videos on Cambly on YouTube. I have a YouTube channel too. Okay. And I upload after, of course, getting the exception from uh, or get permission. Your, uh, accept, or agree. Yeah, permission. yeah, that's fine. Uh, Actually, with the, you're the second person today who said this to me. I had another guy uh, earlier today who's from Turkey who said, yeah, I'm, I'm making a YouTube channel about Cambly. I was like, OK, that's that's fine with me. Um, yeah, you have my permission. It's not a big deal. Um, Thank you. You're welcome. Since I started teaching English, I've gone to YouTube a lot to watch English teaching methods. And there's some really mm. interesting videos on YouTube just about the English language. Like it's, I don't know, it's interesting. You know what I mean? I find it fascinating. So. You can help too, and you will get many followers as long as you are a native speaker. Yeah. Of the language and you are teaching it in a simple way. Yeah, yeah. I can tell that. I can tell from what I, I got you. Maybe we have spent till now nine minutes or ten minutes. Yeah. Uh, you can deliver the, the information in a simple way. Yeah. I mean, I also. Yeah. I couldn't tell sometimes if people are just trying to be polite to me, but I've had really good feedback from the people I've worked with here in Turkey. People are like, yeah, this has been really helpful for me. Uh, I like the way you explain stuff or I just like the way you teach. So like, it's actually a really nice feeling like, uh, 
in the United States, when I'm working on a commercial fishing boat, I don't ever get a, hey, thanks, that's a really great job. They're just like yelling and screaming at you, you know? No. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's definitely a different uh, experience. And it's, for me, I find it very fulfilling, you know? It's nice. So. Uh, I can see that you, you love uh, or you like teaching. Mm -hmm. you, you like to educate others. I can see this. Yeah. And you're right. Mm -hmm. You have like a passion on this. I don't, I don't know what. Yeah. There is something you. Yeah. Out, outside of this, is great to me this. Yeah. If, I, if I'm like, uh, if I'm finding that I can actually help somebody, yeah, I, I feel very passionate about it because I, I find language fascinating, first of all. And also, I find the English language to be particularly fascinating, also sometimes crazy and, and uh, idiosyncratic, but it's cool. <laughs> it's still interesting. It's cool. Mm -hmm. You can start your own YouTube channel from now and think about it in five years from now. If you start today, how many videos you can educate others, uh, what do you think of followers, and of course, the income out of it will be good for you. Yeah, I, I, I wondered that. I actually did uh, recently create like a bit shoot and a YouTube account for like a sec separate project, but I haven't put any videos and like I'm procrastinating. Um, I don't have any real, really good video equipment or anything, but, uh, I, you know, maybe it's possible. I, I don't know how much money you can really make. You know, I, I've heard that you can make money, but I don't know. I guess it's possible. You think in money after two years. Excuse me. After two weeks, after after two years working on YouTube, you can think mm -hmm. about it more. Okay, and the starting okay. money, so yeah, you can gain hundred dollars uh, in a month. You know. Yeah, that's helpful. You know, that's useful. Uh, this is after two years. Mm -hmm. Think of bigger number after three or five or ten years from now. Yeah. Wow, you can get millions. Uh, yeah, if you are. If you are giving fruitful information and people can see that you are teaching them well, they will just publish your channel quickly and you can gain what others, you know, we have uh, in the Arab world in, in Egypt, uh, a tutor, his name is Ibrahim Adil. Mm -hmm. He has, uh, he opened a channel to teach English uh, mm -hmm. under the name the American English. Okay. Ibra Ibrahim Adil in two years. He, he gained, what do you think? Give me a number of subscribers. Two years, realistically, uh, native to Egypt. I and could say... Teaching English. Teaching English. I could say on the low end, 100,000. High end, 500,000, maybe. 3.74 million. million subscribers. Ooh, wow. <laughs> that's incredible. That's got to be some. That's that's got to be a significant amount of income. Of course, but wow. he is giving you what you can't find in courses, in paid mm -hmm. courses. Yeah, and, I could see. I could. Just... I could see. Like it would be interesting as a native speaker to go through. Like I have a, an English, a, a high level um, English instructional textbook that was published in Turkey. I could see like you could build lessons from going through this textbook and being like, okay, well, this is the lesson or just kind of build an easy YouTube lesson around these chapters, right? I mean, I could see doing that. You can just build a simple information and you can build other information yeah. one by one. And eventually you, you will find that you have did a massive work on YouTube and now you are enjoying a conversation with me and Millions of people are watching your videos already about it, you know? Yeah, interesting. Interesting. I don't know. Does does this... I don't think as a tutor that Cambly records the videos, but I know that the students' videos, you can go back and watch this, right? Yeah, I can go back. We have here uh, a tab on our accounts uh, called History. And mm -hmm. we can see the progress of our... Uh, sessions mm -hmm. so i i have from the beginning i have signed up on cambly till this moment all the sessions recorded pretty cool <laughs> pretty cool i guess you don't have this option right uh i might i do have the history option but i've never gone through and looked for uh to see if there is an option to watch the class i have tested this uh 
with a tutor. Her name is Joy from uh, Britain, and I uploaded the, the video, but unlisted, so no one can see the video on YouTube. Mm -hmm. a link to him, mm -hmm. and she saw the video. Oh my God! Oh, there are a lot of mistakes I did. I have to avoid these mistakes next time. Thank you for informing me about what I have did and what I should. And the next video with her, she accepted to upload it on YouTube. It was uh, mm. really significant nice. for me. What's the name of your uh, YouTube? What's the name of your YouTube channel? It's under my name, Islam Tagi. Okay, easy. Yeah, I'll go check it out. I watch YouTube quite often, actually. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's not much else for me to do here. Yeah, there's Did not you, much else for me to do. <laughs> really, you it's know, it's, uh, it's kind of difficult of to make friends because I don't speak Turkish too well, you know. So. Uh, one of uh, my closest friends in uh, in Istanbul, mm -hmm. uh, his name is Islam Amir. Okay. <laughs> uh, you know, when you think of uh, this, a friend of yours for all your life, and of course after graduating from university, we have separated each one in his way working well yeah yeah it's interesting a lot of things we have did yeah. is kuwait a very busy uh i mean what city do you live in in kuwait uh i live in a small place called al jahra al jahra is it a large city or it's a small city i suppose uh, kuwait is a small country small country yeah yeah it's yeah, it's it's, those, it's, those it's all on the sea, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's on the end of the it's end of the Gulf Sea. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The the it's next to Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. Emirates, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. um, the next side or the other side, Iran, I guess. Yeah, yeah. So it's like on what is what is the name of it? The Persian Gulf, yeah, Persian Gulf, yeah. In English, Persian, we call it the Persian Gulf. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's a Persian small country Gulf. created for political and economic reasons. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. probably. You don't have to talk about this. <laughs> I guess you you are good in history, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you have studied. So, have you studied the history about Egypt, the history of Egypt, or? Uh, um, I, I or know. You have studied just the I, USA, Europe. I know, I mean, everyone knows like about the ancient history of Egypt, but I mostly just know about like the, you know, the Second World War and post Second World War history of Egypt. Um, it's pretty interesting history. I don't know the, I don't know, it's, I don't know much about the, the history of Egypt prior, prior to World War One. I. I don't know much about it, really. Just something come up with in my mind do you think we have camels in egypt or not um we have camels in turkey so i would assume yes you have some camels in egypt media media really is destroying my well they we don't have camels in egypt they <laughs> they must have them by the pyramids just for tourists okay <laughs> yeah I know. it's the same I know. it's the same thing in turkey they have them at the tourist places <laughs> But American movies have destroyed other cultures. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. I can see that. Um, yeah. Well, I don't know. I mean, it, Istanbul is really interesting. You could be driving your uh, brand new Lexus down a modern highway. And next to the highway, there will be an old man dressed in like traditional clothing, uh, grazing his flock of cattle along the the hills next to the highway it's a very like interesting place like wow. yeah you have like ancient and modern just right next to each Lord, other at the same time yeah you know they are trying to make this uh unique combination or uh, as a coordination here in kuwait too they're trying to make a link between modern life and ancient things and traditional things in kuwait they are stick to old things in their life, you know. Uh, they have here fancy and luxury homes, and they leave their homes and go to the desert, staying in a tent, mm -hmm. in a simple tent, mm -hmm. making barbecue parties there, and sleeping outside in the nowhere area. Mm -hmm. They are just sticking to their old traditions, and they do love it, you know. Yeah, what's wrong with that? That sounds great. Nothing wrong yeah, that sounds wonderful. 
Yeah, for for me, from another, from a different culture, from Egypt, mm. oh, those people are crazy. But mm. when you when I tried this by myself, wow, what an experience! Just living in nowhere, no technology service or stuff like this. Mm. Just people speaking with them, uh, having fun, doing whatever you want, thinking, just breathing fresh air. Wow! Interesting. Making your own food by yourself. Yeah really a nice experience this is kind of why i decided to move to alaska from new york like i grew up in brooklyn um hopefully you can't detect too much of an accent but uh, after traveling around the united states uh, after university i finally went to alaska and it's kind of like this like it's the most mm, it's the most old school way so to speak that you can get in america these days like mm. There's still wilderness. You can still live in like a log cabin with a wood stove and still go to a no regular bears job. There? Have you met bears? There are many bears. Yes, there are many bears. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, how long have you been? How long uh, have you stayed there? Uh, the first year that I uh, went to Alaska was 2001 or 2002. And then I mm. and then I left in 2005 and or 2006, I forget. And then I returned in 2012. And I kind of sort of lived there. I mean, I travel in the winter and I work there in the summer. So I kind of it's mm. like my home base, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, in 2012, I, I came to Kuwait. Nice. So seven years. Is it, uh, is it your adopted home? Uh, I stay here in Kuwait for ten months, and I travel to Egypt for two months as a vacation. Yeah, makes sense. You can't be away from work for too long. I have already my family here. I have my wife, my kids. Nice. Do you have mom and dad back in Egypt still? In Egypt, yes. Yeah. yeah. Nice. Just communicating with them using smartphones. No. Yeah, of course. Yeah, this was a this was this was a hard thing with my wife and I the first year when we were still dating. She was literally on the other side of the planet. It was a twelve-hour time difference, so like you know, like she's going to bed, I'm waking up, and we're always on the smart. Yeah, I, I was about to tell. But... Yeah, always on the smartphone, and like by the end of that first year, we both like hated our cell phones so much like we but were just it, tired of it uh, i guess it's a nice step to be together now everything is, is great life. yeah now it's great yeah. life is nothing without them it's true yeah. it's true at one point you have to realize like okay like what is life without family so i still visit my family in new york every year when i travel from one side of the planet to the other new york is kind of like the <laughs> the pit stop in the center so it works I guess it's kind of expensive to travel. To travel from Turkey to USA. Yeah, yeah. It's well, you can find some good deals certain times of the year. You know, just like anything traveling, you could find a good deal. Um, the cheapest flight we found was a one-way flight for like four hundred U.S. dollars, which blew my mind. I couldn't believe how cheap it was. But that was very rare. Like the cheapest other than that, uh, that I found for a one-way flight was $600, which is more m more kind of like the common mm. price. So yeah, a round trip is twelve to 1500 depending on the time. So. Same thing here, same situation with me here in Kuwait. Because I have my family, so I have four tickets to the <laughs> Oh my goodness, uh, too much. But, but I, I, I just, I need, to go to Egypt, I need to have a vacation to relieve myself. You have to break. You have to get a break, a yeah. real break. Yeah, everybody needs this, and I feel bad for people who never take one. But some people are workaholics or something, or they have obligations, right? So just working. Yeah, I, I love work. I do love work. Yeah, I enjoy. I do love making videos and teach others and work outside and make revisions everything i'd like to to do while i need because i i want to feel 
the kind of satisfaction out of work, you know? Mm-hmm. I satisfy when I teach others. Mm-hmm. I, I, I do need this. But at, at a certain point, I have to break, to get a break. Yeah. But the problem with it is what sometimes when I get my own break, I just give it for a long time. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I mean, everybody needs some time off, but you don't want to get lazy or you don't want to waste your time. But I know what you mean about that sense of satisfaction of being able to help somebody, especially with language. Language is so fascinating. Yes. Hey, Azam, it was great to talk to you, man. Yeah, I really love speaking to you. And of course, I will add your name in uh, my favorite list. Yeah, I'll put you on my Uh, regulars. I have uh, 30 minutes per week, so I hope next week we can i can get you online inshallah yeah i guess you know the term of inshallah right yeah mashallah inshallah uh, uh, yeah, oh. yeah. <laughs> all right brother thank you right thank you i'll put you on my list as well i'll see you soon bye bye